Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be looking at factorial trolling zeros question in Python. So given an integer n, return the number of trolling zeros in n factorial. If our input, oh, by the way, trolling zero means how many zeros are at the back of your output. So if your input is three, the output is zero because three factorial is six and there is no zero. If your input is 5, the output is 1 because 5 factorial is 120 and there's uh, 1, 0 at the back, so your output is 1. Note that your solution should be in logarithmic uh, time complexity. So when I first got this question, I was like, can I just use the math.factorial um, building function and passing the n so that I got my factorial number and then I would just write a for loop or while loop to track how many uh, zeros are at the back. Um, well, that's, um, that one is not does not satisfy the log rhythmic time complexity um, requirement. So when I submit that solution, it failed because it exceeds the time um, limit. Okay, so we can do that. Mm, so there is a trick for this question. The trick is, well, when you think about the factorial of five, five, seven, three, two, one. So the reason why you got a zero at the end is is it because like one times two? No, is it because one times three? No, it is because five times four or five times two. That's the reason you got the the ten, right? In order to get a zero or in, in order to get a ten, you always have to have a two and five. Oh, well, in this case, like four is like two times two, right? So, and because it's a factorial number. Um, there are a lot of twos um, in the numbers because every two number is an even number, right? And you have a lot and a lot of even numbers, a lot of and a lot of twos. So the question actually boils down how many fives are there in your input number, if that makes sense. So uh, let's say if your input is 10, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. So if you want to get how many um, like zero, trailing zeros are in 10 factorial, you basically are counting how many fives are there in um, these numbers. You got one five here and you got another five here because 10 equals five times uh, multiplied uh, by two. So you, the output should be two because there are two fives. And let's uh, use the calculator. So 10 factorial is this number and you really got two zeros, right? So uh, for this question, the trick is finding how many fives uh, are there, um, they are in your input number. Okay, so for that, um, I'm just, gonna code it up. I will initialize my result to zero and while n is not equal to zero, I will, so our result 